Hello, my name is Heng Jiang Liu, a postdoctor in Zhejiang Lab. Professor Chu is my co-advisor. In this work, we developed a new deep convolutional multitask model to predict the noise-induced permanent threshold shift using the data from Chinese works. The NIPTS is the most important index for measuring the degree of noise-induced hearing loss. It can be calculated by subtracting the standard PTA value of the control group from the PTA value of the test subject. There are also several models to predict the NIPTS. For example, in RSO standards, a mathematical model was developed. In this model, only the overall measurement of noise was considered, such as exposure duration and the sound pressure level, or SPL. However, the detailed information within occupational noise, including temporal fluctuations in SPL or ketosis, can also have an impact on hearing loss. Traditional models cannot effectively utilize this type of information. So here, we use deep learning to make full use of the detailed information hidden in the noise. During the process of model construction, first, a 16-second time window was used to statistic the detailed information in the original noise signal. This yielded the noise sequence data with detailed features such as the short-time SPL, peak SPL, ketosis, and so on. Then, convolution and the max pooling operations were applied to the noise sequence data, allowing a convolutional network to extract the features in DIPS. The result noise sequence data was then mapped into a vector. Here is the complete structure of CNN part. At the last, the vector was passed into a MMOE network. In this phase, the, vec the vector was initially fed into three experts and gates. The outputs from the experts and gates were multiplied and summed. Finally, three task towers were employed to learn three targets. Additionally, the option to average the three outputs to obtain a mean value of NIPTS on the different frequency domains was considered. Our model was trained and tested on a dataset from 3,000 Chinese workers. Compared with traditional prediction model, our model can obtain smaller RMSE both the mean value or separate value of NIPTS on the different frequency domain. It is clear that the use of deep learning can provide more accurate results. Our experiment revealed that the MMOE part did not significantly enhance the model's performance as we expected. The following two aspects are potential candidates for future optimization. First, combine additional personal information onto the vector extracted by CNN to enhance the information density within MMOE part, such as age, sex, or duration, and so on. Second, the difference between NIPTAs and the different frequency domain are too small to fully utilize the characteristics of MMOE network. An attempt will make to use different types of 
auditory test results as multitask learning objectives. This is the brief contents of our work. We will continue to improve the model in the future. Thank you for your attention.